Hello fellow comrades. Today we're going to talk about a mod that I have found. This is on the series of mods that concerned the time period of the Victorian era. This is Risorgimiento, the Franco-Austrian War of 1859. Of course, is a mod that is going to touch one important aspect of the Victorian era, which is the Italian Wars of Unification in which Sardinia Piedmont is going to lead the Italian states to become one. And, of course, France and the Austrian Empire are going to be on the table for that. There has been a first war, and then this is the part in which the Italians and French are going to take the Venetian area. This is a very peculiar mod peculiar in the fact that you are going to see a very precise area of the map. It's a mod for Napoleon to war and you're go we're going to, to see a very interesting map of Italy which is the first map that you play on the actual campaign of Napoleon in which Napoleon fights the Austrians when he invades Italy. This is the map that this mod is going to use. The victory condition is up to 1860 and we begin in 1859. We begin with this screen. There are no maps showing when you select the three only factions that are available for us. France, the Habsburg Austria and Sardinia Piedmont. Just to add a quite important fact here, this is not the flag of Sardinia Piedmont. The flag of Sardinia is actually the uh, emblem of the center of the flag. The flag of Italy with the Sardinia Piedmont uh, cross in the center is the actual flag that is going to be adopted when the unification happened. However, here we see that we already begin with that. We see that with the Piedmont Sardinia faction, we have no uh, description, but we got uh, quite interesting descriptions here with these two major powers here. We see here uh, Louis Napoleon Bonaparte. Here we see a, a very young Franz Josef I of Austria. And here we see Emmanuel the the second. So let's uh, have a look at this description. So on the on on December the second of eighteen fifty one, Louis Napoleon Bonaparte, who had been elected president of the Republic, staged a coup d'état by dissolving the National Assembly without having the constitutional right to do so. He thus became sole ruler of France and re-established universal suffrage, previously abolished by the Assembly. His decisions and the extensions of his mandate for 10 years were popularly endorsed by a referendum later that month. During his early reign, Piedmontese following the defeat by Austria in the First Italian War of Independence recognized their need for allies. This led Camillo Benso, Conte di Cavour, the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Piedmont Sardinia, to attempt to establish relations with other European powers, partially through Piedmont's participation in the Crimean War, in the peace conference at Paris. Following the war, Cavour attempted to bring attention to efforts for Italian unification. After a covert meeting at Plombieres, Napoleon III and Cavour signed the secret treaty of alliance against Austria. France would help Sardinia Piedmont to fight against Austria if attacked, and Sardinia Piedmont would then give Nice and Savoy to France in return. The secret alliance served both countries. It helped with the Sardinian Piedmontese plan of unification of the Italian peninsula under the House of Savoy and weaken Austria, a fury adversary of Napoleon III's French Empire. So here we see Franz Joseph with the Austrian 
Habsburg Empire, the Austrian Empire was created out of the realms of Habsburgs by proclamation in 804. It was a multinational empire and one of Europe's great powers. This was created because of the fact that Napoleon dissolved the, the Holy Roman Empire and because of the the because of the emperor he he didn't like the fact that uh, that he would lose his empire he he proclaimed uh, the country of austria the, uh, the arch duchy of austria as a, as, as an, an actual em empire so in 1859 piedmont sardinia was ready to attempt a second try to let italy gain its independence cavour being unable to get the French help unless the Austrians attacked first, provoked Vienna with a series of military maneuvers close to the border. Austria issued an ultimatum on 23 of April of 1859, demanding the complete demobilization of the Sardinian army, and when it was not heeded, Austria started a war with Sardinia in April 29, thus drawing France into the conflict and both major powers into, into, the, into the war. This move will later prove fatal for the balance of forces on the battlefield. And of course, here we don't have a description because we are going to... We are the ones that are going to write the history for this country as of right now. So let's hit start game. So if you remember, I mentioned that this is going to use the first map that you play with in, in the Napoleon campaign, which is the map in which Napoleon invades Italy. And here we have the area, here we have in the map, as we can see, the area of, of Austria. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to ask you to see here. Uh, here you see Austria, the white area, and here we see these, the saturated purple area is the Piedmontese Sardinian area. We have different other different states here, including the Papal states, we have Modena, we have Parma, and we have Tuscany. These other states are going to be part of the unification. They are going to join the unification movement of the so-called Risorgimento. And here we have France, of course, in possession of Nice because of the of the actual treaty. Uh, the King Emmanuel gave this area to and some areas here to to France in order to obtain the help of the French. And our main goal before 1860 or up to 1860 is going to be to take the Venetian area. Here we see Verona and here we see Veneto. This is completely the area that we have to take up to here in Veneto, Padova, Verona, Mantova and Brescia, including Lodi and Milano. So we're going to push here into the Po Valley uh, to take that. Of course, in the future, these two areas, Trento and uh, which is Trent and Friuli, uh, are going to be added into the uh, Italian uh, possessions. And but we're going to continue here because we like to push the boundaries of the victory conditions, and we're going to take. Ah, actually, we don't have Rome here, but it, it's interesting because we're going to take and we're going to unify Italy because. We already see the flag of Italy here. So, to make honor to that unification, we're going to take the whole areas that are part of that of this flag. With that being said, we're going to begin here. So we see quite a lot of armies here. Here's Napoleon the Third. That's actually Napoleon the Third, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. There he is with an army here. We see very very nice pictures of the of the units. And even if I click my own units, we can see this. 
this is very very nice this is very detailed as you can see if i click here you can see as well uh, some of the other uh, generals let me see alonso this is alfonso la marmora however we didn't see the the actual picture here and here we have vittorio emmanuel and vittorio emmanuel it has uh, an actual portrait which is awesome so let me see what about now we cannot see this uh, this is napoleon this is the this is the other frederick foray let me see we cannot see it we can see from our part some of the units some of them don't have any any pictures some of them have the same picture which is this one but apart from that because you see that there are no no differences whatsoever i think i see no differences in in the buildings um, apart from some flags and on the research we see again no differences the actual um, beauty of this mod is inside the battlefield when you when we see the actual units because even though we cannot see the they have they didn't add the picture here on the battlefield the uniforms are awesome are awesome so that's why we're here to see the uniforms and to see the the battles in action so what we're going to do first we see a lot of uh, things here let us see we have we have fanteria di linea here which i believe are going to be the standard ones because apart from that we have granatieri manfredo fanti i believe that um, garibaldi is already here is already present in this situation giovanni durando here we have and here is the king where do we have that guy that i'm trying to find if it's possible to find garibaldi here or at least here enrico silandi and domenico cucciari so i cannot see garibaldi perhaps some um, we can we can we can meet garibaldi some in some at some point alfonso la marmora which is uh, one one interesting uh, general of the time from the italians so yeah that's it for that situation so let me see we're going to leave this guy here we already know that uh, in terms of diplomatic situation we have austria here and we are at war with austria and that's it we are allies with france france is here and the other guys are quite luca friendly papal states friendly tuscany friendly Modena and Parma are... Parma is actually unfriendly. This is the the Italian state that is less friendly. Perhaps we can do a trade. So let's open negotiations here and let's do request trade agreement. Ah, yeah, pretty sure that we can get this trade. So we got the trade agreement here. These will allow us... Okay, we have very, very low income. We are going to go into a deficit right now so let me see here let me go up into here to increase the, the taxes for the nobility and to increase the taxes for the middle class even doing by doing this we are still not getting what we want okay pretty interesting i think i cannot be i cannot do any any more trade so the center point is Austria, so we are going to fight Austria, and the first thing that we have to do is to take Milano. We have to do that, a huge army here, commanded by Vittorio Emanuel, which has Piedmontese artillery, and we have a couple of dragoons. I think these are Cavalleria Pesante, are perhaps these are heavy cavalry, I believe, Usari are like um, hussars if i'm not mistaken i believe and the cavalry cavalieri which is light infantry yeah this is heavy cavalry and uh, then we have the cacciatori dell'alpi the, the cacciatori cacciatori are the are hunters are 
these are light infantry skirmishers that are going to send to be sent uh, first to skirmish and then we have Fanteria di Linea which is the standard one and Granatieri these are the Granadiers we have a couple of different Granatiers here we have Granatieri della Guardia and Granatieri which is Grandiers of the Guard and Grenadiers. Then we have uh, ca Carabineri uh, Cavallo, which is Carabineers. Okay, very interesting. So we have a very interesting army here that we are going to get ready to to move in here. The the main stuff here is that we have started the mobilization because we're ready to take uh, the areas that are parts that have Italians living in. And the Habsburgs have taken them for so long. And this is the time in which the Italians are going to fight for those territories. So what I'm going to do here, let me take this. These are, these are militia, the volontari, which are volunteers, and the Piedmontese artillery. So, uh, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Let me see what happens if I take all of these guys out from here. There's no problem with the public order. So I'm going to send the volunteers south here. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to increase the defense of Liguria. I am pretty sure that this guy, we are at peace with this guy, but for some reason this guy, you see here, he says that they are unfriendly. And because of that reason, I want to have here a couple of units at least uh, two voluntary and fanteria de linea. Uh, perhaps the fanteria de linea would be good to move a bit further here. But I think it's okay. It's okay. So, so with these two guys, Piedmontese artillery, I'm going to move them up to here because I want to consolidate some of my troops in here. So here we have. Granatieri, Fanteria di Linea, and we have the Pit Montes Artillery. So definitely here we don't have anything, so I'm going to move these guys out. I I hope by moving these guys out, still we, we get problems here. So I'm going to send the... I believe the Granatieri is going to be okay. Of course. So then we're going to pull down here into this pasture okay here we have the Giovanni Durando this this general is a three-star general 96 years old interesting very old guy here but he has a lot of uh, a huge army here so what I'm going to do is definitely we cannot move here right now so I'm going to send him uh, here to to Novara, which is going to be our main line, and definitely our. Let me see if I can move these guys up from here. These guys are three, and this is a full stack. So I'm going to move the full stack to the farm over here. In Vercelli. This is my main army commanded by the king. And over here, I would like to definitely move this guy here, very close to this um, to this settlement, because you see the you we can see here the area. Of influence of the settlement so I want to give a little bit of reinforcements if we are to to be attacked by these guys here I'm pretty sure these guys are going to attack here very soon so at uh, the fact that we have reinforcement here but this guy is not reinforcing even if I move them here I think that a very clever thing to do is going to be to take all the infantry at the linea here and move them out here we're going to leave this uh, but by the time being in this in this turn so this is going to perhaps provoke these guys to pull here so i want to see what is here. i cannot see anything i don't have any, any intel about the movement of the enemy so i i really want to i really hope that they 
either move through here or go directly to Novara. However, it it is not going to make any 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 harm because we have uh, one stack and another army here ready to to defend if if that happens. Okay, these guys are moving here. Ah, here we see that this uh, Torino has problems with me uh, with um, liquor. So what do we have here? Okay, there we go. So what do we do with that? I believe we can't move these guys. But we have a huge army here as well in Connie. This is another full stack commanded by Manfredo Fanti. This guy is 121 years, okay, pretty nice. So up to this point we know that the years of these guys are not accurate. I believe this is because uh, it's like this to, to make these generals live longer, I believe. I'm not sure why this is happening. Perhaps it's something that the mother did on purpose, or perhaps it's something that the mother uh, of the the guy that modded this didn't didn't realize up to this point. Okay, so let's move the full stack here up to Torino. So let's hope there is no problems there with the public order. Okay, and here we have these guys here. I'm I'm really going to need all, all the forces here. I'm going to push these guys to the north. So in terms of economy, ah, oh, we're better with the economy. This is a little bit weird. For some reason, right now we're we're gaining um, an income here. Okay, whatever. So we have three thirty-eight thousand. Okay, thirty-eight thousand. What do we do with those thirty-eight thousand? We can actually improve here this this is a town uh, we can do a supply post why not this could be a good area to make a supply post we can of course here increase these two army stuff but we don't have the actual uh, the actual research technology to do that and actually i believe that we cannot do anything else right now perhaps it's going to be good very very good here to do magistrate but i don't see a a good reason to do that because the only place that is having problems is here so i cannot do a magistrate here but perhaps if i am able here for some reason to to do cobbled roads that would be good to advance in six so my troops could advance here, could advance in this area for the structure alone. So that's okay. And that's it, I believe. Um, we go ahead. Here we can recruit. We can recruit Granatieri de la Guardia. We can recruit Granatieri. Vol uh, this is this is militia. For Fanteria de Linea, which is uh, normal line infantry, and what is this? This is the Bersaglieri light infantry, and which is treated as. Well, actually, it's here, right? These are the Bersaglieri. Let's see if we have light infantry skirmishers. No description here. No, no particular description for those. So. Yeah, I believe that we can recruit uh, some volunteers here to make this less problematic. So a couple of volunteers here and the... Let's see here. These are Cavaglieri, which are light infantry and heavy cavalry. Okay, let's do... Uh, let's do something cheap. I think we're okay with this. Yeah, so this way we're not going to need a lot of troops inside here. I think that with these volunteers is okay. With these four volunteers is going to be more than enough 
to appease the what is this the lower class and the ruling class okay so let's go oh exactly as i expected so now the cg the city of no of novara is being besieged by the austrians we have here philip von stadion and here we have franz joseph this is joseph joseph july okay that's pretty neat how the the models you can see the models here i'm going to move it quiet here slightly here so we can see the model uh, actually, this model is the same model as this, as far as I can, I can see, as far as I can realize, and this, this model is, from French, is the same. They all, the three, the three factions of this model here in the, in the map, but, um, I think it's quite, um, quite nice, this one. Okay, so, they are besieging here, this is going to take three turns. So, we have here uh, quite a lot of artillery here, ready to pound against them. We can begin the fight by fighting them over there. Let me see what we can do here. Oh, this place is already chilled. People here are chill. Ah, uh, by the fact that we have the, the volunteers here. Okay, that's good. So, let me push these guys here. I'm going to to move these guys and advance them into the north and then here perhaps we can go through here with this these troops which is going to be uh, quite interesting here to move them here I didn't realize that we had this path here and now that I realize this I think we can send uh, Vittorio Emanuel uh, here. Why not? Yeah, this is a good, a good, uh, interesting uh, thing to do. So I'm going to move this guy uh, over here. Perhaps these guys are going to be able to attack me there. But now they are um, hidden here in these woods. So that's cool. So we push these guys back. And let's push these guys here. Gonna push them here. And this one. Yeah, this one is going to go here. Let's hope that the Italian, the, the French are doing something. They are, they are actually not moving, which is quite interesting. So we, we got here a letter of the Mans from Torino, but they are appeased. And that's it for now. We're okay. So the, the reasoning here is that they have three turns here. Of course, we have, we have here some armed citizens, citizenry which is a mob which is actually going to be destroyed by these guys they have hungarian infantry which is the the most powerful line infantry for for the habsburgs they have the hungarian grenadiers which is quiet professional they have artillery interesting thing is that it doesn't say what type of artillery it is it just say it just says piedmontese artillery and here it says Austrian artillery. He has the Gresners here, which are the frontiersmen, and line infantry, which is standard line infantry command by this guy. Very right, interesting. So let's end the turn. Early May of 1859. Start demanding surrender. Are we going to surrender as good Italians that want to un unify our land? Of course. Uh, no. We're going to cancel this. We are not going to accept this. Uh, what is this? Okay, for some reason, 
Joseph Yulai. We have ambushed them. Well, that's interesting. We have ambushed this army. Okay, let's um let's fight. Let's enjoy our first fight and this is where where the real mod begins because it's inside the battlefield in which we're going to see the distinction of uniforms and Victorian stuff okay now for the for beginning because this is going to be the our first fight we're going to have a look first at what we got here we got here the carabinieri de caval de cavallo which are carabineers we see this unit here uh, we see the um, Lanchetti, which are Lancers, with their lance. We see here, let me, let me go in here and show you guys this beautiful mod and how we can see the uniforms and the differences. So here are the Lancers. We see another. This is um, Heavy Cavalry, which are in which are dressing the standard Dragoon uniform with their helmet, style Roman helmet and their their coaties here so this is this unit now, uh, let, let's see, let's have a look at what we got here uh, here we have the artillery let me move the artillery here here is the artillery uh, interesting uh, foraging cap with pompoons. Very good, very nice, very neat. Ah, uh, here we have the the artillery pieces. There you go. Epaulets. Nice. Then we have the grandieri. What is this? This are the grandieri. Okay. Now, let's see here, uh, they have, here they have the Piedmontese flag, but inside here you can see that they are waving the Italian flag. Okay. And we have, ah, yeah, because this is an ambush. Yeah, I understand. So, let me, let me put these guys over here so we can start positioning them in a good, pos in a good place in which we can... Uh, destroy the enemy. Here we're going to unlimber them. Of course, this is going to be to destroy these guys. Pretty sure these guys are going to be able to shoot there. If not, I think here is going to be better. Even though it's going to it's going to be very, very far away from the actual area. I think here is going to be okay. So they are in two will fire at will. That's okay. Cavalry here. Here we got uh, the heavy cavalry, dragon style. And this is the Uzari. Ah, yeah, we haven't seen the Uzari. These are Uzars style. You can see here. Good, good, good. Now, let me go to the actual infantry, because here we have the Granadieri de la Guardia, which are Grenadiers, I believe. This one is uh, line infantry, standard line infantry, with their backpacks here. Their uh, the rifle, this is the Granadieri. Look at the Piedmontese emblem here at the at the top of the 
of the hat. Okay, interesting. Let me see if we can see the other guys. There you go. So here we can see them. These are the Grantieri de la Guardia, which are uh, more, more powerful than the normal Grantiers. Here we have the... You see the Fanteria Leggera, which is the light infantry. These are the guys. Interesting hat, indeed. Uh, very, very detailed when I zoom in, you can see. And finally, I think I haven't missed uh, anything else. Cacciatori dell'Alpi. Ah, this is the Cacciatori dell'Alpi. The Hunters of the Alps. I think that's it. Why not? Okay, let me move this guy here. There's two guys. As you can see, I'm going to push them here. And here we have the Granateers and Line Infantry. How, how are we going to do this? Like this, I believe. Yeah. So let's um let's begin. Let's pound them here, if possible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's move these guys here. And the the light infantry. Look at this. Okay. Perhaps we're going to have a little bit of friendly fire here with with my artillery. So we have to be a little bit careful here. Okay. Let's shoot at these guys. Let's see the the action here. These guys shoot very quickly. Now oh, pretty good. the action here what is happening here okay they're they're receiving a little bit of damage here okay we see here the commander okay let's move the the hunters here this is going to be good to move these guys here so we see the march of our troops over here. This is how we begin our Italian War of Unification, our version of the Italian War of Unification, trying to make it the uh, historically accurate. Okay, something is happening. Oh, okay, let's charge here. I'm going to send the this uh, cavalry to attack the their commander. I don't know why why he did this. It's, that's interesting, actually. Cavalleria pesante. I'm going to move the cavalleria pesante here. I'm going to move these um these regiments here. Ah, there you go. They are trying to. To make my my cavalry to to move into their lines, so they are going to be able to shoot me. It's quite interesting this thing, that, what they are doing. Never mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna limber them, clearly because. Okay, we have killed let's this. General, sir. Yeah, of course, break. of course we did this. That's it. So, we're going to begin this thing, we're going to get here closer, and here we're going to simply move and put my troops over here. 
In the meantime, we're going to move my cavalry here. We're doing very, very good here. So let's pull them back. Okay, I, if you remember, I unlimber them because I want to move them here. I want to put them in this area, if possible. That's okay. I need to begin to shoot here. So here we're going to move our line. They're climbing this um, hill. There we go. Okay, let's see. Move these guys here. Which guys are running here? There we go. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Shoot at them, shoot at them. I think we can... We can charge here. Let's move this cavalry here. So you can see a little bit of action here. We are on the hill here. Which is not good. They cannot see here. Let's move. To move here. Let's charge him. Let's charge with the Cavalleria Pesante here. There we go. That's it. We're trying to position themselves here. Shoot them here. That's it. We're going to destroy them here. All the flanks. There we go. There we go. Italia. Okay, so Italy, or rather Sardinia Piedmont, lost 100 men in, in, in its first battle. And they lost all their uh, the the commander of Joseph July has has been completely utterly defeated. We have gained our artillery and our cavalry most likely gained uh, quite uh, a bit of uh, experience here. So this is the first victory for Vittorio Manuel, which is very very good. Oh, this is this is neat. So now another two turns, but we we can move Manfredo Fanti closer here, and that's it. We we're going to win this. So let's move this guy here. Is the battle that we just fought? We're very proud of this battle here. Then we can push here, clearly. Now push here. See if we can do something here. Okay, these guys are going to be moved here. Let's continue here with these guys. Let me move these guys. I see I see this guy here, so I'm going to push this guy into this area. So we're going to do a three-pronged attack into their territories with my three stacks. Where is this guy? Napoleon the third is here. Okay, let's push this guy here into the into the bridge. Doing very good. And then we can fight here. I believe we can start moving this guy here to get ready for the battle here. And this guy close him here. 
So here we have Manfredo Fante, which is a very, very able general with four stars. Of course, the the leader is a three, four, five star. And here we have the other general, which is a three star. Okay, let's see. So get him a little bit near. So then we can attack this guy here, Alexander Hettinger. And we can liberate the we can relieve the the siege of this which is actually the region's capital actually it says here region's capital okay so so far we're doing good we're going to do a three-pronged attack moving from uh from the north in from the center and we're going to defeat this army that boldly started the aggression and pushed into our territories and we're going to push the Austrians back behind the Alps where they belong. So I hope you are enjoying this. Uh, this is the Risorgimento 1859. This is so far a very very nice uh, mod. I am liking it. I hope you are doing the same. Don't forget to give a like, subscribe. This was Victus. See you in the next one.